in this video, I'm going to talk about breast health, breast cancer. I have a list, so I stay on track. Breast exercises and how to just basically get our tissues healthy and strong in and around that area. The same goes for men in their bathing suit area. Hi, my name is Cassie Love and I teach essential movements. Most people don't know what that is, so I say I teach yoga. Essential movements are simple movements that we can do that address multiple root causes of living in this artificial world to counter it so that we can avoid getting sick and heal our body if we are sick. Welcome. If you haven't already checked out my website, there's a lot more information on there and I also have online courses courses to address each individual body part if you're suffering from something like knee pain. In this video, I'm going to talk about three different things that we can do to strengthen our tissues and get more oxygen and detox the area of our breasts. And I mentioned before, the same goes for men with their bathing suit area. The three things, number one is our shoulders to detox the lymphatic system in our shoulders and our hips. And I'll talk more about that and the exercises you can do to do that. The second one, I'm going to talk about bra choices and bras that are actually healthier for your body and things that might be inhibiting your body's ability to like detox and pull oxygen in and keep healthy tissues. And then the last one is about our hips and the oxygenation that we need in our hips. So we need more oxygen in our hips. That's the last one and why. With our shoulders and our upper body, the, the two things that we really want to focus on to maintain healthy uh, breasts and tissues and a healthy upper body is that if you look at the shoulder, it is a pretty big joint. We've got our our knee, our hip joints and our shoulder joints that are very big joints and they're a ball and socket joint. So they're designed for a 360 degree movement. And oftentimes we might find ourselves basically only doing this movement and never getting our arms up above our head. In this 360 degree joint, the circle of the joint, if you look up the lymphatic system, there are tons and tons of lymph nodes around the shoulders and hips. So that's where most of them are. So nature's designed us that our detox system that does not have a pump, we have to push and pull it to get the lymphatic system detoxed. That most of it is in our biggest joints that nature expects us to move regularly throughout the day. One of the things that happens with our upper body is that we might not use our arms a lot up above our head. And then the other thing is, is that if we are losing strength, or we just have like a movement habit where the whole shoulder joint is lifted, we're displacing the joint. And so what the restorative exercises, what you can do to help your body push and pull and clear out the lymphatic system is just to learn that this is one bone and that it is in a ball and socket area. So you can bring your hand across, we'll do it on both sides, place your hand on your shoulder joint, keep the joint down, and try to lift up the arm, only moving the arm bone in the joint. And you might notice maybe you can't get your arm high enough. Another way to pull more oxygen is, is to fan your fingers wide and bend your wrist back. And right away you might feel zingers, you might feel quite a bit happening there, and that's good. So when we're in any kind of exercise class or program, we want to really stabilize the joint and move the humerus bone in the joint to get deeper into the joint to pull more oxygen in and to flush out any toxins. So the oxygen helps keep everything healthy and strong. There are so many muscles that attach it. And so we want the whole area to stay healthy so that the thoracic cavity where your breasts are can stay healthy as well. So we can try the other side and notice if you can lift up your arm without lifting up your shoulder. So I have to, at some point, almost slide my shoulder blade down my back to get it because I love lifting my shoulders like earrings and many people do and it feels good and there's nothing wrong with it. But when we're actively trying to create more mobility and uh, detox the area with and add in more oxygen deeper into the area, we want to be able to stabilize the shoulder joint. Now, the second thing is the rib cage and the spine. So oftentimes when people lift up their arm, uh, they may lift up their rib cage. And if you notice, my arm bone is not moving in the shoulder. My ribs and my spine are moving. But if I were to keep my ribs and my spine still and only move my arm bone, then I'm able to detox more of it out. And then the second one is the twist. So what happens is 
when we are trying to do a circle that is a 360 degree joint, what ends up happening when we're trying to do a circle is we do a twist. So we're not really moving the arm bone in as many ways as it's able to go. And we're also not pushing on the boundary of our mobility, which means that uh, fascia is building up, we're losing mobility, which means it's becoming dehydrated, there's not a lot of water and not a lot of blood getting in there to bring oxygen. Being able to move your humerus, bo bo humerus bone <laughs> in all the different directions that it was designed to do regularly will help add more oxygen and detox the lymphatic system in and around the area of our breasts. Also hanging. So I have another video on hanging I'm gonna invite you to check out. That is a primary movement. I think we should be doing it every single day because there are just so many health benefits to it, including breast health. The second thing I wanted to talk about is the tissues and getting our breast tissues healthier. Many of us grew up, you know, the minute that you hit puberty, you're given a bra and you wear a bra. And I'm not saying don't wear a bra, uh, but I'm saying that if the tissues never get a chance to just hang and suspend, and maintain the, the tissue strength and health, then they just start to atrophy. Considering if you're wearing bras that have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of support, just taking them off once in a while, I would recommend never to sleep in a bra. Uh, the tissues need space to hang. So when they're hanging, gravity's pulling, and what gravity is doing is it's pulling in oxygen deeper into the tissues. So it helps you know invigorate the area with healthy, fresh tissues. It also makes the tissue stronger. And so gravity is really useful in that sense. And then the other thing about not wearing a bra regularly is the ability for your breast tissues to start getting stronger. Uh, so what might end up happening if you go overnight and you never wear a bra again, <laughs> your breast may drop because the tissues get pulled way too much and they're very, very weak and they're, the tissues are not able to hold them up. And then eventually after maybe two years, they might start to pop back up into a younger you. I'm not guaranteeing that. So there's no guarantees here. What you can do is you can buy like different kinds of bras that some that have more support than others. Uh, and when you're maybe just cleaning and around the house and you're not feeling self-conscious, you know, you can wear no bra or you can wear one that's just cotton with very little support. The other thing I wanted to mention about bras that I, I won't be able to say too much about is that before we used to be able to buy food that was all organic. When we went to the grocery store, everything was organic. And now we have to go out of our way to buy food that's organic. And the same goes for clothing now. Unfortunately, a lot of clothing is being sprayed with chemicals so that uh, the, the fibers last longer. They look new for longer amounts of time. Uh, exercise clothes in particular. So if we're sweating and we're wearing a bra that has sprays in it, uh, like chemicals or something, and we're sweating, and then we're absorbing those chemicals into our breast tissues. And, and the same goes with, um, you know, our bottoms. And so I would recommend our organic cotton bras or linen bras if you can. Uh, another thing about the, the material is that polyester is basically plastic and that we already know that there are different types of plastic that leach uh, harmful things into water. Same goes with underwires. So we want to be able to have lots of oxygen regularly in the upper body to help our breast tissue stay healthy. The last thing is our hips. Our hips are basically the exact same as what I was talking about with the shoulders, that the hip bone is one bone and a bone in so and a ball and socket. So our femur, the top thigh leg bone, it's one bone and it's in a ball and socket joint. And so being able to move your femur around in a 360 degree circle regularly and squatting. So squatting will pull a lot of oxygen into the hips and squatting also helps to push and pull all of the lymphatic system which our hips and shoulders have the most of. So we really wanna be able to move those regularly throughout the day 
so that we're getting oxygen throughout the day and we're not just waiting till we go to the gym and then a flush of oxygen and then the rest of the time we have no oxygen and then moving the lymphatic system really just helping the body maintain its health uh, near the areas that are really important in the biggest most important spots which is why squatting and hanging is such key and if you squat and hang aligned properly uh, you maximize it and so the videos on squatting and hanging can be really helpful just to get more tips on how to align your body to maximize to really isolate where those lymph nodes are and to really isolate where the ends of the muscles are and stuff like that anyways i would be interested in hearing your comments uh, thank you so much for watching my video and i hope to see you in the next one bye for now